Hello all, my name is Khanam and in this series we are going to learn PHP CRUD operation that is creating the database, how to create tables, how to insert the data inside the tables, how to update that details, how to delete that data. Okay, we are going to see all the operations. This is the project for complete beginner level. If you understand this concept and if you make this project, then you will be having clear understanding on how to delete the data, how to update the data, how to insert the data, how to display that data. Once you are comfortable doing this one, once you understand this concept, then you can create advanced project in PHP. Okay, now CRUD, C stands for creating, R stands for reading, U stands for updating and D stands for deleting. Creating is nothing but we are going to create the database, we are going to create the tables. Once we are created database, once we have created tables, we have to connect to the database. We are going to connect to the database, everything we are going to perform. And also we are going to see how to install XAMPP control panel, how to install VS code editor. Because to write this one, we need one code editor. Okay, we are going to use VS code editor in this complete series. So we are going to see that one as well. Now I am just going to show you the demo of the project, what we are going to make in this series. Here I am having one form. Inside this, I am having this four input fields. Now first, I am just going to enter Khanam. Second, I am just going to enter here Khanam at gmail.com. Password 1234. Mobile number, I'm just going to write here some random number. I'll just click on add details. As soon as I click on add details, these four data were already present inside the database. The fifth data has been added here. You can see the fifth data Khanam has been added here. And also inside this database, I have created the table called CRUD. And inside this table, this has been added. Okay, the value has been added. Okay, we have inserted the data inside the database. And from that database table, we are fetching this data. We are displaying in our website. Okay, and also you can see password I have not stored inside text format. We are going to hash the password and password hash we are going to store inside the database. Because even if our website get hacked, nobody should get to know the password. So we are just doing password hashing here. Now when I click on this delete button, you can see below I am getting delete ID is equal to 4. I will just click on this delete record deleted successfully okay you can see that record is being deleted now from here fourth record i deleted if i just refresh this one suresh record will be deleted from here you can see here i'm having one two three and five the fourth record is being deleted from the database but while displaying you can see i'm getting proper serial numbers one two three and four okay we are going to see how to do that one now when i click on this update button Whatever fields I am having related to this particular row, that will be displayed for me. You can see that that data has been displayed for me. Now I can just update this one, 3, 4, 3, 4. Here I will remove this. I will just write here 6, 6. I click on update. Data updated successfully. Okay. You can see Khanam 1234. Khanam 1234 and mobile number has been updated. Inside the database also, this data will be updated. Now here I am having Khanam 12. As soon as I refresh this one, I will be having Khanam 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, this is how we are going to update the data. Now here inside this database, I am already having this SEMA user. I will just come here. Again, I will just try to enter SEMA. Here I will be giving some other name. Let me just write here ss at gmail.com. Password 1234. Mobile number some random. I'll just click on add details. You can see email or username already exists. It is going to display me that error. This username is already present inside the database. You have to select another username. And also for email also, if I just give the same email, whatever is present inside the database, it is not going to insert that data. Now if I refresh this one, again I will be having four fields here. That field will not be inserted inside the database. Now again if I just try to use same email here for Ria, I'm just going to give another name. Let me just write here Suresh. I'll be writing Ria at, Ria at gmail.com. Password, I'll be writing 1234. Mobile number, let me just write this one. Okay, now Ria at gmail.com is present inside the database. Now when I click on add details, again I will be getting this alert. Email or username already exists. And this user will not be inserted inside the database. You can see only four records I am having. Now instead of this, if I just write here another Suresh, here I will be writing Suresh at gmail.com. 
okay this is not present this username is not present this email is not present password we can give anything mobile if you want you can check for mobile as well as soon as i click on add details you can see that data is been added and here i'm having this suresh data okay this is how we are going to perform this one and we are going to see step by step procedure how to do this one first we are going to start with installing zamp without zamp we cannot use php script because we need one local server to run our php script so we are going to see how to install zamp we are going to see how to install vs code editor and then we are going to perform all this step you will be getting this entire source code at the end of this series okay i really suggest you to practice this one if you practice this 3 4 times then you will be having clear idea on this php crud operation once you are familiar with this one you will be finding the similar patterns in each and every project so let's get started with this project